Millions of people have seen the videos. The ones that show how the education system hasn't changed in over 150 years and doesn't honor our individual strengths. Not to mention Sir Ken Robinson's video about how every country on earth is reforming education. And seriously, we are still using standardized tests. Hey, the inventor of these tests himself, Frederick J. Kelly, said, and I quote, these tests are too crude to be used and should be abandoned. But who is listening? Well, did you know Finland is one of the best educational systems in the world with interdisciplinary projects which help us understand our academics in real-world applications? And Australia has become the leader in positive education, focusing on well-being. Luckily, my new school is on board with both philosophies. Hello parents, teachers, and all caring adults. My name is Hazen JC, and I wish to help innovate the education system by asking our educational leaders for two things. Please, help us to understand how each of us learns best so that our education can be tailored to our own strengths and weaknesses. Please, help us to monitor and understand our own emotional well-being. Deep down, we all know that our successes in the long run depend on more than just our grades in school. My first idea is to give schools, teachers, and parents a useful assessment tool to evaluate how every student learns best so that their strengths can be recognized. This could also provide feedback and personalized strategies to help them thrive in their academics. My second idea is to also have this online assessment tool evaluate the emotional health of students. This could also provide feedback and personalized strategies in self-care. I can tell you from personal experience, when you don't understand your strengths and there's focus on your weaknesses, you get pretty discouraged and depressed which affects your academics. I know my school uses assessment tools to learn about me, but I'm thinking on a bigger scale for everybody that's free. Now, I don't necessarily know what the tool is exactly, but I imagine a website used globally. You simply log on and get the report on your academic and emotional strategies. How can understanding yourself better not be a good thing? How can understanding your students better not create a stronger student-teacher relationship? How can creating a better learning environment not help us achieve the goals of our education system? Because the outcomes aren't just about getting straight A's. In fact, it's about the B's, being healthy and prepared with the skills to create our own joyful life. So, please teach us how to process our emotions. Please teach us how to not feel shame about our mistakes because it, is, because it is proof we are trying and growing. Please teach us that we are response able to handle the situations we face day to day and create our own path in life. Please teach us that we are innately good people with gifts to share with the world. If we're taught this, I imagine that the outcomes would include compassion for all students with different mental and emotional states. We'd feel comfortable and supported to attend school and free to focus on our academics. We'd be less affected by sadness so we could enjoy learning, create valuable connections with teachers and friends, and improve our emotional and social intelligence. Ultimately, these outcomes would help with all areas of our life. So, why do I personally care? Because at my young age, I've had quite an exposure to school. Just wait. I know what you're thinking, but let me tell you. I was diagnosed on the autism spectrum when I was one and a half years old. The doctors told my parents that I'd be very limited and that school for me would be at best a struggle. Most kids start school at age four or five. Well, for me, school began at age two. I attended the Hope Center at Beaumont Hospital in Detroit every single day for six months. After that, I had speech pathology classes. I attended Montessori school for a few years and then attended a traditional academic grade school. I was retested around age seven and told that I no longer had autism, but like all kids had different strengths and weaknesses in my learning abilities. I was now more or less in the normal category for a kid. Despite winning awards in math and scoring in the 95th percentile on standardized CAT testing, I felt like a failure. I did very poorly in other areas of my education, including executive functioning and organizational skills to name a few. My marks started going down as my deficiencies grew more and more apparent. I saw no way to improve. I began to hate school. I was also diagnosed with depression. I was lucky. My parents changed me to a different school where they recognized that each kid is unique. 
where they assess your learning strengths and weaknesses and also recognize the relationship between emotional wellness and academic achievement. Let me tell you about my improvements. I have no ability to speak in public. I now feel accepted for who I am. I'm not afraid to speak in public because I'm comfortable to take risks and share my thoughts without fear of criticism. I also know every student is working on some aspect of their well-being at school, so I'm free to make mistakes like everyone else. I might even make one during this presentation, and that would be okay because it might allow you to be more comfortable to speak in public too. My next success is that I no longer feel depressed. I was being judged, getting into trouble, being disciplined, and redirected for what I felt wasn't always fair. Now, hey, I am no saint. <laughs> but I always felt attacked for my weaknesses with no hope in understanding how to work on them or utilize my strengths. I also saw other students feeling com comfortable, yet they didn't ask for help. I used to ignore my feelings too, and thoughts would build up in my mind so I couldn't focus at all. Do you know what happens when you don't allow yourself to feel emotions and delete the sad ones? You just shove all the feelings back down and eventually you're a Coke bottle with a Mentos dropped in. <laughs> I've learned how to identify my emotions and how to ask for support when I'm feeling sad or frustrated to avoid being off track for too long. My next improvement is that I have a newfound confidence. I used to believe I wasn't very good at anything because all I used to focus on were my weaknesses. In a strengths-based educational setting, my confidence has noticeably, skyrock noticeably skyrocketed, helping my grades improve immensely because I now know what my strengths are and can use them to make up for my weaknesses. Finally, I've learned how to set my own personal goals. This month, I chose to focus on going one step further, self-love, which is allowing me to enjoy new friendships even more, and I'm excited to see my progress as I work on appreciating my skills. So that's me. I'm ecstatic to report that I am exceptionally happier way more focused and comfortable learning. I wish this for all students worldwide because the benefits are life-changing. I've progressed and I want to see every student everywhere have that same opportunity. It's time for change because I am proof this really works. And remember, change begins with an idea. Thank you.